Hey Scorpio, this is Nikki. I hope that everybody is doing well. Um, I have some energy on this board, you guys, and we got to talk about somebody. Scorpio, there is somebody in you guys' energy that is in serious ass hermit mode, okay? It's serious ass thinking, okay? I'm talking about contemplation like a motherfucker, okay? Um, yeah, somebody don't went inside. Somebody's doing some serious soul searching. Now, this could be because of a relationship, which I do see here. Um, but this could also be, you know, a life changing type thing. Like, you know, what, what, what else to my life? You know what I'm saying? What else can I do? Because Ten of Cups is at the end of this energy. And even though Ten of Cups does represent loving completely and emotional readiness, listen, Ten of Cups can also be loving completely on oneself, okay? Um, I do see a Virgo towards Capricorn here. I do see a marriage, higher commitment, soulmate com connection here. I do see the Ten of Coins here. And all of this leads me to believe that there is either a marriage, children involved, um, like I said, a higher connection, baby mama, baby daddy, or something, okay? But we're going to get into this energy swap, okay? But before we do, I want to thank my new subscribers, you guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting this channel in the way that you have. Your comments, um, your emails, just you reaching out to me. Scorpio has done nothing but make me want to continue to serve. And for that, I am thankful, okay? I love you guys dearly. So listen, if you guys have not subscribed to the channel, um, please accept my invitation to subscribe. There are so many incentives going on right now. All you got to do is look in that description box under number three and you guys will see all what i'm giving away and i do update that go to number three it's a lot of shit in that description box scorpio so you want to go to number three just to see you know what it is that i'm giving away oracle cards tarot cards crystal bracelets crown chakra pieces moon and um star necklaces just all kind of different things okay and including free reads so it is the best time i announce my winners once a month on the first on the community page um i will find you if you are a winner okay so even if you did not comment y'all will still find you okay but comment 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 because that's your highest chances to win so before we dig into this energy you guys i want to tell you for every 100 new subscribers somebody will get a free read and free reads are also being given away now i think we're only like 30 30 or 35 i can't really remember but somebody is going to be getting a free read here pretty soon okay so comment comment so i can find you guys i love you guys all right so let's get back to this energy okay somebody is in some serious ass hermit mode okay this is a virgo card okay so virgo could be prevalent in you guys' energy which it is because i do see the queen of coins okay but let's just talk about this first energy for a second okay because the reason why is because number one is a major arcana okay major arcana doesn't necessarily have to do with just a situation at hand, okay? Or an energy that is fleeting, okay? Major arcanas come in when, you know, life-changing events happen, all right? And when I say life-changing events, I do mean actual life-changing events, or I mean um, an epiphany, or I mean, you know, uh, one way we used to look at things and now we just don't look at those things anymore that way, okay? And even uh, major arcanas can also um delge into you know your whole perception changing your whole belief system okay becoming something totally different okay so this is a metamorphosis type of situation okay there is somebody in your energy okay we got page of swords coming out first okay somebody is a little bit younger than somebody here um somebody does definitely want more information about this here to a source something that somebody cannot see okay somebody does not understand um they're not getting enough information from but however uh you know this is a difficult decision that is needed to be made what is concerning me scorpio is the fact you got page of swords here okay now page of swords is a gatherer of information it's also a messenger this is also a childlike energy okay however page of swords does have have a very bad reputation of lying okay so this information is to a source that somebody may find themselves in uh, Scorpio that's really not to be trusted at this point in the game and the reason why is because you got page of swords before you okay do a little bit more research a little bit more digging you guys got gifts you guys you guys can dig into to what is and what's not you see what I'm saying third energy out is the Virgo Taurus or Capricorn that somebody is dealing with somebody has a laser light focus towards this union okay this four of wands or they're losing courage when it comes down to this four of wands, okay? So either this Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, and unless you're a Scorpio that has Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn in their chart, then this very well can be you, okay? Or it can be somebody who you're dealing with, okay? Who, um, you know, is either like, I'm not backing down from this connection, 
Um, or you know what? I'm starting to question this connection. What connection are we talking about, Scorpio? We're talking about a soulmate connection. We're talking about a twin flame connection. We're talking about kids. We're talking about a higher connection, a higher, um, you know, a higher, um, just a higher relationship, baby mama, baby daddy, you know, some, something that, you know, has definitely captured, you know, not only just heart, but mind and soul. All right. Okay, so right up underneath this page of swords, I do see where somebody is thinking about catching out. Okay, going in a whole nother direction. Not catching out as far as eight of cups, catching out as far as three of wands, okay? Um, maybe they've learned something and they've grown and they're working into another direction, okay? Um, and, 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 and right up underneath this um, needing to make a difficult decision... And you know, and let me go. Let me go back, okay? Because see, this two of swords is a little bit different in this deck. Um, Scorpio, can you see these two like ghost like individuals in the back? Okay, so what this is telling me is that somebody doesn't have all the facts that they need, but they can feel it. Okay, somebody's intuition is off the chain. There is somebody here that has clairs, and there is somebody here that has gifts. Okay, so you may not have the receipts, all right? But if you feel it, then damn it, is there, and it got everything to do with this ten of coins. Okay, ten of coins. That's your family. That's your, um, you know, lasting security. You know, that's family, family. Uh, gathering family memories um you know being with the family you know um uh, generating generational wealth you know what i'm saying there is something in this situation that one cannot see okay now regarding this virgo towards capricorn and this uh all in determined laser like focus on this here family or virgo towards capricorn who is losing courage about this this family okay what i see here is i see the eight of coins okay eight of coins is studying and learning okay it's gaining expertise you guys okay so whereas if this is you let's just say you have taken on queen of coins right and you're like you know what i really don't know about this family no more okay um somebody is trying to put the work in to make this to make this work okay ten of, ten of uh, cups is at the end of your guys's energy that is um you loving completely okay that is having the family that is you know the wife the husband you know and the kids all right now i need to give you guys some footnotes before we begin that is relevant to this reading now i'm not going to delve into this if this resonates scorpio go ahead and take it for what it is put these puzzle pieces together the best way you can um but somebody's dad somebody's father it really does not like somebody's man here, okay? Somebody's father doesn't like somebody's man or somebody's mother doesn't like somebody's woman or somebody's mother don't like somebody's man or somebody's father don't like somebody's woman, okay? Um, it's, it's almost like every time you talk about them, they don't want to hear it. It's like they shut it down, okay? Like they're really not supportive, okay, of whoever this is, all right? It's almost like oh him again or oh her again or oh you need to do better or something to that degree, okay? Um, I also have check her cell phone. Okay. You need to, whoever did the dudes. Okay. You need to check her cell phone. Okay. It's something shit that's going on in this here cell phone that you need. I love you too, baby. That you need to check. All right. So, you know, you got all these apps that's covering up apps. You got passwords that's covering up passwords. Scorpio, if it ain't nobody that I know that can break, break through an app is you and Aquarius. Okay. Y'all ain't no joke. A Taurus too, okay? Taurus, get, yeah, but Scorpio and um, Aquarius and Taurus, y'all can get through the maps, all right? I'm gonna need for you to do that, all right? Because there's something in her fucking cell phone, okay? Um, That is going to, um, you know, maybe not have a good result, all right? Um, I got anime here. Somebody is an anime freak. Somebody is an anime. They like anime in some type of way. Um, Yeah, okay? I don't know what that's about. Could be Dragon Ball Z. Y'all, I don't know anime, okay? I'm just going to tell you. Dragon Ball Z, you know, shit. I don't know. Junior, huh? what's some more anime? You said what? Anime. What about it? Tell me some names of some anime. So we got Dragon Ball Z. Naruto. We got Naruto. Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale. Okay, well, we got some anime, okay? Somebody is doing something with some anime, all right? Um... Okay, listen, also I have another footnote, and this is the last footnote before we get into this energy. Hanging the, around the wrong types of people, troublemakers, okay? 
hanging around the wrong type of people, troublemakers, okay? So those are you guys' footnotes, okay? And those are what I'm going to be naming the video, okay? So Scorpio, besides being in this hermit mode, taking upon this Virgo energy, um, really going with the inside. And, and like I said, not necessarily towards just a relationship, y'all. Also oneself, okay? Like oneself, you know, like I got this mantra, I want to be better than what I was yesterday. You know, some people, you know, they want to be better than others, okay? And then you got others that just want to be better than themselves, okay? So listen, Scorpio, it feels like that. It feels like that energy of, I just want to be the better me every single day. You see what I'm saying? And what is it that I have to do? What, 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 what course of actions do I have to take in order to do that? You see what I'm saying? It's that type of thing. Or it could also be, like I said, because this is complete vulnerability here. So whatever somebody has went in and thought, um, it's almost like, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm butt naked here, okay? I, I'm willing to deal with the truth here. There's no clothes on this woman. You see what I'm saying? She's, she's ready. She's ready to make that change in her life. Or he is ready to make that change in his life so that they can start, so y'all can start feeling, you know, the fruits of what not only who you know you to be, also, to get away from a bunch of fuck shit that's been bothering you, okay? So, with this page of swords and this uh, two of swords, okay? We got some a difficult decision to make based on some information that was found out that could be the truth or a lie. We will clarify, okay? But it got everything to do with this Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Possibly, possibly fire in the chart, okay? Because the wands is fire, okay? So, that is Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, Okay? We are walking in a direction. What direction it looks like we're walking into is it looks like we're walking into this family situation, okay? Looks like somebody is learning and gaining knowledge on how to make this better, okay? Self-work, okay? To make this situation go, all right? Or trying to figure out a way to make this shit work, okay? Because at the end of the day, there is somebody who truly, truly, truly does want it all with someone, okay? So with that being said, Scorpio, let's go ahead and start clarifying. Scorpio, I hope that you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday. Holy Spirit, I need clarifications for your sons and your daughters. Stagnation mode. I see, I see, the, I see the hermit. I mean, the hangman. Let your truth reign supreme. Comfort, console, puzzle pieces. Put it in place for your sons and your daughters. I do see the two of cups. There is love here, okay? And to you be the glory, Lord. There is lying here, okay? Confirmation. Somebody's feel bound. Somebody's self-esteem has been messed up. This could be jail. This could be hospitals. This is setback. This could be a victim, an actual victim, okay? Tell me about Herman, Holy Spirit, for your sons and your daughters. Somebody's thinking about leaving somebody else in the cold, or somebody was left in the cold. Somebody may be sick. Somebody may not, uh, you know, be feeling well. This is a self-sabotage. Every time I see five of coins, this is self-sabotaging, okay? This is somebody not doing what the fuck they were supposed to do to make this shit work, okay? Now, either somebody is still because we're clarifying hermit. So that doesn't necessarily mean this happened. But that definitely does um, mess, that definitely does mean that somebody is definitely in perfection mode on leaving some shit behind, okay? Tell me about the page of swords, Holy Spirit, please, for your sons and your daughters, and for your glory. Somebody think they got clarity? Told you, page of swords is on a mission to find out information, okay? And somebody feels like they got cl uh, cl uh, um, clarity, but listen here. Like I said, page of swords got, they lie, okay? Yeah, he can, okay? Not saying he does all the time, okay? And I believe that you know that. And the reason why is because you got the two of coins, okay, after this clarity. So you're juggling. You're juggling what you know, and you're juggling what doesn't make sense, okay? So whatever you found out or whatever whoever found out and got ultimate clarity, somebody is still like, you know what? Some shit don't really seem right, okay? Give me this two of swords, Holy Spirit, for your sons and your daughters and for your glory. It will be at the end of the day, y'all. Somebody's taking a risk. 
Somebody's taking a risk, a leap of faith, okay? Even though they don't know, okay? They need to make a difficult decision. Maybe it's because you don't have receipts. Maybe that's the reason why somebody's optimistic. However, some bullshit done went on because I don't see the fool without the tower. The tower is not on the board. Options, you guys. This is what you don't see. This is the reason why you need to make a difficult decision because somebody who you're dealing with, or if this is you, cross watcher energy will and can get involved in all this. Somebody has a lot of options, okay? Give me more. Tell me more about it, Holy Spirit. Something that you cannot see. Pisces is on the board. This is the reason why you're under two of swords. It's like you know something ain't right. And then and let me also say this. With this two of swords and this uh, moon card coming out, this is high, high intuition. Okay? Scorpio, there's not too many Scorpios that don't have clairs. Okay? So I need for you to stop ignoring your intuition. Okay? Give me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me about this moon. For your sons and your daughters and for your glory. Hmm, this one want to come out upside down. So we got a promiscuous person that likes to have sex here. We got a Sagittarius. Uh, usually I don't take upside down cards, but I fix my cards to where they're upright. And if it come out upside down, then you know, hey, that's Holy Spirit. Okay, so we got a King of Wands that's upside down, you guys. Okay, so we got a visionary who is just that. Okay, we got somebody highly sexual. We got somebody who abuses power. All right, give me more. Holy Spirit. And that's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that has you in a two of swords once again. Okay, don't know what the fuck is going on. See her with them blindfolds? She ain't moving though. She ain't moving because she ready to get all the information. But she ready though, Scorpio. She ready from the right and she ready from the left. See that moon right there? We don't have a full moon there. We ain't everything ain't a limonetta yet. She got blindfolds on, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't have intuition. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit, tell me about this Virgo towards Capricorn. This is a stable individual, you guys. This is either a single mother. Somebody got to the truth of this, okay? And we got Ari, we got Aquarius, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra on the board now, okay? But somebody did get to the truth of this matter, okay, regarding this family. Holy Spirit, tell me more about the Queen of Coins. Turning roofless, turning roofless. Got to the truth of the matter, turning roofless, okay? Whereas she bowed down to somebody who was on a level. This is the emperor. She bowed down, okay, to somebody who she felt that was on a higher level than her, okay? But when Queen of Swords came into her energy and she got to the truth, okay, of, you know, um, this uh, soulmate connection, it's almost like she trumped that person, okay? She took back control, okay? Give me, um, give me Queen of Swords. Or there could be another person. Okay, involved, okay, in which it looks like it because now we got Queen of Swords that's having sex, okay? We got a Taurus, we got a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, we got a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, oh, somebody's having sex with well, somebody, okay? Tell me about this all in determined, Holy Spirit, and then we'll clarify the Emperor. Working very hard, we got the Eight of Coins and the Eight of Coins, okay? Give me the Emperor. What is he doing? This is Aries. This is Taurus. Looking at this, like, what am I getting back? Okay. Give me more. What is he doing? Coming. Okay. So this person wants this Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay. But this person has been having sex with this, uh, this Aquarius, this Libra, and this Gemini. Okay. All right. So... Tell me about um, this all in determined. What is this determined? Okay, so if you know what, this is the, all in determined could be putting these, these burdens down. Or like I said, somebody could be losing courage, okay? So once this Virgo Taurus Capricorn bossed up, right? put her boundaries up and was like, fuck this, okay? Somebody lost courage and wanted to put these burdens down. It could go like that too, okay? Um, but yeah, there is sex with this Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, about this. 
for your sons and for your daughters. Yeah, there we go, y'all. Third party, okay? Third party. This person is having sex. So whoever is in your energy is having sex with this uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, okay? Even though they act like they want this Virgo towards Capricorn, okay? Give me this Three of Wands, Holy Spirit. The third party makes them happy. I will say this is notable growth. We're walking in the same direction. But since I got third party on this board here. Yeah, see? They're going off. They're going off. Somebody's leaving somebody. Okay, because of the, their happiness. Tell me about this family. Holy Spirit. Tell me about this family. Yeah, bring in breadcrumb in it. Breadcrumb in the family, okay? Not giving all, you know, very teenage energy. Somebody might be younger than here in this family. More. Comfort. Comfort and comfortability when it comes down to his family. Okay? But not putting much work in. You see what I'm saying? It's like I'm here. Because I got a home and I got a family. I'm just here. Give me more information on the spirit. Yeah. And see, because of this attitude, a tower has been hit. Okay? Yeah, some shit don't went crashing down. Some came to the light. Probably this damn third party. Probably having sex with this, um, you know, you know, all that. That's the reason why somebody in hermit mode, okay? Tell me about this family. I need to know about this 401, Holy Spirit, please, for your sons and your daughters. Make it make sense, Lord. Make it make sense. Look. Emotional funeral, okay? There's an ending here, okay? So this right here, this Ten of Cups, has been seriously ass tampered with, okay? Holy Spirit, tell me about this Ten of Cups. For your sons and your daughters, in your glory. Somebody want a new beginning? Holy Spirit, Aquarius is on the board. Somebody want to do a beginning with this Virgo Taurus Capricorn, okay? That's what they want to do beginning. Holy Spirit, tell me about the Virgo Taurus Capricorn. This is the person they want a family with, okay? This is the person they got the Ten of Cups with, okay? Somebody is in love with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn here, Scorpio. They want them back. Okay, somebody done fucked a Libra, a Gemini, Aquarius, done had somebody up in a third party, then got real freaky with them, okay? Now, tell me about this, Holy Spirit. Tell me about this third party. Is it coming to an end? What's going on? Somebody done got left in the cold, I will. Tell me about this. It, became, it came between a lover situation. Give me more. This is a divine connection, okay? Y'all know how I feel about this lovers. Here we go. We in Hermit mode again. Virgo's on the board. Somebody is thinking about this divine connection. Yeah. See what I'm talking about? When it comes down to this third party, this could be somebody friend. Somebody close by. Dang, my nails, y'all. See what I'm talking about? Okay. You got the third party. You got the lovers. You got somebody really thinking about this shit, okay? Because this is some fuck shit right here. This is betrayal, okay? So this is the reason why it don't look like it's going to work. Even though somebody wants it to, okay? This is pain here, all right? What they did was they went off to this Virgo Taurus Capricorn, okay? They left. That's what they did. And the reason why is because it makes them happy. Leo could be on the board. That's a Leo card. Scorpio here. Scorpio here. Okay. Holy Spirit, what else do I need to know about this reading? Yeah, Virgo is heavy on this board, y'all. Okay, I got Scorpio here. What is he doing? Holy Spirit, what's going on? Want to leave? Not from where you're from? This is Scorpio Pisces Capricorn. Traveling back and forth to see somebody. Okay, big body of water. Baby mama, baby daddy. Got to travel back and forth to see. Somebody is not where for somebody is from here. 
That's the King of Cups that could represent you, okay? Or Cancer Pisces. Tell me more. Communication is fucked up, y'all, okay? There's a lot of popping off here, all right? But this Cancer Pisces Scorpio, they think that they have a four of wands with this person, okay? And they possibly can be because that's what came out in the energy. But this person, they want victory with this. But the thing about it is this person who got this four of wands, this um, <clears throat> soulmate connection with, they want a Virgo towards a Capricorn, okay? That's who's in the energy. They, yes, they did have sex with a Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini, all right? And there has been betrayal. Give me more, Holy Spirit. Anything else Scorpio needs to know? Somebody's very promiscuous. What is she doing? Holy Spirit. Being very damn secretive. There's somebody very promiscuous, a female here that's very promiscuous, and she's being very secretive. More. She might got money problems. So the cycle's going to change. Got the world here. Somebody likes to travel. Give me more information, Holy Spirit. Just one more. Yeah, and it's stagnation there, okay? So, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. I hope that this has put some pieces together for you guys. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, this is a lot, okay? But stay in that hermit mode, okay? Because, like I said, I don't really think that this is just so much this situation here. I also believe that this got something to do with... You know, me as a Scorpio, I want to level up in my own self. I see myself as something that this shit is not matching up to. I got Scorpio on me, y'all, um, in two different placements. So I know what that feels like. You see what I'm saying? And it's almost like, you know what? I'm tired of the bullshit. I'm tired of every time I, every time I try, every time I think of different ways, you know, here we go. You know what I'm saying? We supposed to have this. We supposed to have a love of a lifetime. But for some reason, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's a female that's going off here. It's a dude that's going off here, okay? But you need to understand, they want this Virgo towards Capricorn, okay? They want them bad, all right? So with that being said, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. I love you dearly. You guys give me the most views on this video, and I promise you we are going to spend the next Friday, the following Friday together. I haven't spent, I don't know, have we spent Friday together, y'all? Well, let's make it, let's make a date. Give me the most video, most views on the video and let's make a date for Friday because I want to dig into this energy and I would love to spend some more time with you guys. You guys remember, like, share, and subscribe. And remember, I love you. Bye, Scorpio.